So you tried importing your videos into your timeline and you get this error showing you you can't because your video file is incompatible. So what do you do? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you two methods in which you can resolve this problem. So before we begin this video, make sure to give this video a like, you subscribe and you turn on the post notifications, the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can get more content like this for me in the future. All right, let's get into the video. The reason I decided to make this video is because I myself, I had this problem. I recorded videos on my iPhone and wanted to edit it so I sent all the videos to my laptop and tried importing it to DaVinci Resolve. I actually used Final Cut Pro on my Hacking Touch which if you want to see a video will be linked here in the card. So on Final Cut Pro I didn't notice this problem because it's a Mac and I would just record the videos and import it into my project in Final Cut Pro and they would just work. I didn't even know that there could be problems when I tried editing on different softwares or in Windows. So I heard of this new software called DaVinci Resolve and I decided to check it out on Windows. I downloaded it, I just wanted to learn the software and how to edit videos on it. I recorded videos on my iPhone and imported it over to DaVinci Resolve and bam, I got this error showing me the files are incompatible with DaVinci Resolve and that this codec is not supported. So I got confused and I was like, what is that? So I did research and I found out that the iPhone actually records videos by default in H.265 files, which is called HVEC files. This means that the video is recorded in a different codec, different from the most used and the most common codec, H.264. And this H.265 codec really isn't compatible with most devices and programs. So that's why this error exists in the first place. But over on Final Cut Pro, I didn't notice this problem because the codec has already been integrated into Mac OS and Final Cut Pro. So that's why I wasn't having problems on there. But over on Windows, that wasn't the case. So that's why I was getting those errors. However, I've seen on some forums on the internet of people saying that the problem had been fixed in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2020. So those of you using that software or that particular version, you won't have any problem with it. On to the first solution on to fixing this problem. I know that most of you with this problem are probably recording on your smartphone, particularly the iPhone which always by default records in H.265. So what you have to do is go to your camera settings and change the format in which these videos are recorded. It could be a little bit different on different versions on Android but on the iPhone just go to your settings, scroll all the way to camera and select format. You will see two options there, most compatible and most efficient. The most compatible one is the H.264 and the most efficient one is the H.265. If you select the most compatible option, it will tell you that it will be compatible with most devices but it will eat up a lot of storage on your device. So what you want to do is to select the most compatible option. And that's it, when you record your videos, you don't have to worry about this error when you're trying to edit it. You just import it to any timeline or any editing software and it will work fine, no problems there. If you are using the stock camera of the iPhone and you're using a paid version or a different app, in the settings of the app, the app should have an option for you to be able to change it to H.264. Alright, so that was the first solution in solving this problem of errors when you're trying to import videos in your editing software but if you don't want to do that and you want to save up on storage when recording videos i have a second solution that will convert the files that you have already recorded in h.265 into h.264 i have two application softwares that you can use one being handbrake it's a great tool for you to be able to convert video files into virtually any formats out there you can convert .movie files into mp4, mkv and so on. Alright, to convert the file, all you need to do is to go into the Handbrake app and just select the file that you want to convert. So you click on Open Source and click on File or you can drag the file on there. And you look for the file where it's located, select it and open it. Once it's done importing, you head over to the Video tab here and you select H.264. Once you do that, you can play with a bunch of other settings here. But I really wouldn't recommend you do that so that you don't tamper with the quality of the video and then you press start to encode. Once it's done, it will save your file for you in the directory you select here. The second method in which you could do this is to use the VLC video playing app. VLC has an inbuilt tool that you can use to convert files into different formats. To do that, what you have to do is to hop into VLC and come over to media, convert. So I'm going to select my file and import it. Once you've done that, you click on convert slash save and you come over here and click on this drop down list. In the list, you see a bunch of different formats and codecs below, but just select this one that says H.264 plus MP3, MP4. So once you've selected this, click on Browse and select the location of where you want the file to be exported to. So I've selected Documents and I'll click Start. And once this blue line reaches the end, it will save the file for you there. So that was the second solution by using those two apps. However, I really wouldn't recommend that you use the second solution because in as much as it converts the files for you into a compatible file, 
for you to be able to edit. Sometimes the conversion doesn't always go so well because I've had problems like that before in the past. That after converting the video and I go back into editing, I will notice that the audio and the video either are out of sync or the quality of the video has been reduced a bit. So I wouldn't really recommend if you shoot in H.265 and you now want to convert the files to a compatible version because of these problems. Instead, I would recommend you use the first solution which is just to record from the beginning in H.264 and you wouldn't have any problems because virtually every app or device support H.264. Alright, so that was it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions or issues, make sure to leave them in the comment below and I'll gladly respond to them. Also subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.